Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Nielsen and this is Ryan's Trumpet. So once we can find a five and we can experience what a five feels and sounds like to us on our instruments, what's the next step? Well, this is where uh, the genius of Herbert L. Clark comes in. Uh, Herbert L. Clark coined a phrase, moving long tones. To my perception, every major school of trumpet pedagogy has a set of standardized moving long tones. So these are exercises where we're gonna play with a long tone of air or a long tone of, of resonance while we happen to be moving around the trumpet. So uh, basically we need to curate for ourselves exercises that are moving long tones where we can establish five, find the five, and then go out into the five to move around. All designed. Every single one of these moving, moving long tones that's really effective starts with smaller steps and then eventually moves to, to leaps. They may be small leaps at first, but it always starts with steps and then gradually moves to leaps because the idea is that we're practicing going out into the five in order to move and then we're trusting the five when we leap rather than overdoing uh, the leaps. The Herbert L. Clark Technical Studies are an incredible resource for practicing moving around uh, the horn while maintaining that relationship with the five, while going out into the five. So what we might do, and what I often have my students do, and what I do in my own practice, is I'll use a lip bend to establish center to find the five on the first note, and then I will go into practicing the moving long tone. So something like this. So I find the five and then I trust the five. I'm moving around the horn by trusting the five rather than changing how I blow. The, the Vincent Chickowitz uh, long tone studies, which there's an amazing edition of that's been put out by his son. I'll be sure to post a link to that in the, in, in the comments below as well. But the long tone studies that Vincent Chickowitz developed which many of us have heard, we can approach the same way. I'm gonna set it up with a bend uh, to find the five and then move through the study. That study is very much about finding the five and moving with the five. In fact, when Chigowitz used the word flow, uh, one of the ways I had that explained to me um, was that he meant uh, the flow of one note flowing out of the previous note. One note flowing out of the previous note. So he, it had to do with sound and resonance as much or more so than the airstream itself. Of course, there's a, a, a really famous um, exercise designed by James Stamp uh, that accomplishes th this similarly. so forth and so on but again the idea is using the bend to establish five and then take and then taking the five with you as stamp would say staying up to go down and then I might get myself in a little bit of trouble with this one but I have actually found benefit in approaching some of the Carmine Caruso exercises from this lens now for all my Caruso people out there don't get mad at me I understand that his original intention had to do with calisthenics, 
Um, and I've also found use in, in approaching his, uh, his exercises this way. So for example, we might do the, the spiders uh, designed by John McNeil and Lori Frank, which come right out of that Caruso lineage where I establish the five and then expand through the horn. so forth and so on. Uh, when we move around the trumpet, whether we're going up or down, the truth is we're going out, deeper and deeper into the center of the horn. And if we figure out how to do that, then we get more freedom on the instrument. And the thing that's really important to understand is that every major trumpet teacher, thinker, talks about this in a different way. But I believe that these statements that I'm about to share with you from all of these leaders in our field, uh, that they have, that they're trying to get us to the same experience as trumpet players. I think they're just different words or different clothing on the same experience that we have, which, which uh, I'm gonna keep calling playing out into the center of the trumpet today. This is so common. Uh, this is so fundamental. This is kind of like the secret. Uh, the, the common denominator in every method of trumpet playing that I'm familiar with. This is Vincent Chikowitz talking about the word flow. This is him saying uh, the principle, the basic principle is simple. Always blow the same. Always blow the same. This is Stamp saying every slur is a glissando or stay down to go up or stay up to go down. This is Carmine Caruso saying, blow through the first note the whole time. This is Sam Palafian and Pat Sheridan uh, talking about the stream. This is them uh, sharing with us that the, 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 the character of the stream is even and constant at the tip of the lip. Um, this is Dave Hickman talking about playing the five uh, or talking about using outside air. Uh, and this is Herbert L. Clark uh, coining the brilliant terminology, moving long tones, uh, by which I gather that means that we're using a, an approach as though we were playing a resonant and long tone, a single resonant and long tone, no matter how much we move around the instrument. So literally, like I think this is the foundational principle for staying healthy on the instrument, for getting a, the, the ability to move freely around the instrument. And uh, we're just gonna call it for the rest of this time, center or to borrow from Dave Hickman, playing the five. Mm -hmm.